These animations have gotten me a million views in the past month in social media and I've gotten hundreds of comments asking me on how I did it. So if you stay until the end, you will know all the in and outs of how I created this isometric view. So first up, we'll get started in SketchUp. So you want to make sure that the model has the ceiling hidden and two of the walls from which you will take the render from. Now, once you launch Enscape, make sure to switch to orthographic mode to capture an isometric view. Right after you do that, make sure you hide all of the objects from the Room. Now, basically, what you want to do is create 10 different renders by adding the objects one by one, which would actually be the steps of the exported transformation. For the animation that I did on Reels, I kept a 9 by 16 aspect ratio, but for the sake of this video, I will keep it as 16 by 9. And that is all we have to do here in SketchUp and Enscape. Now we're going to move on to Photoshop and import all of the renders that I created. Once I do this, I'm going to select all of the surrounding areas that we don't need and simply delete them on all of the renders. So except the room, everything else in the background is going to be transparent. So now we apply a gradient and we use two colors that complement the interior. So I will try to blend in a transition between the pink and the purple that we have on the color scheme. Now the colors that you use might be completely different from the room that you're rendering, but the same method applies. So basically just pick two complementary colors in the color palette. Now I will select the outlines of the room and draw the wall where the section plane was supposedly cut off. So I try to keep three different tones of the dark purple, one tone at the left side of the isometric view, another one on the right side and a different one on the top. That way this kind of has a clear distinction between all the three different planes. Now I use the brush tool and I first use a 5% opacity on a layer underneath to actually simulate like the room is laying on a plane rather than just completely floating. So we will simulate this with some shadows while using three different opacities. So a broader one will be with a 5% opacity a medium one will be with 10% opacity and a stronger one which would be closer to the actual floor will have the 15% opacity. The next step is to simulate the lighting coming in. So I'll try to use a very soft brush tool with a low opacity and kind of a yellowish color and I will stroke it from the angle in which the light is coming from in the room. Now after I completed all of these steps I will export all of the renders one by one adding each layer for each export that way we have a post-production render for each of the phases or the steps of the transformation. If you enjoyed until now, you can learn realistic rendering in just 14 days by clicking the first link in the description. So we're going to move on to Premiere Pro, where we're not going to do anything complicated. We're basically going to add in the audio and make sure that transformation steps are synchronized with the music. And then once that is done, we're going to click export and then you will have the final exported animation. If you want to see me modeling, rendering, materials and lighting of a full interior scene, make sure to watch the video right here.